This is Linked Data Engineering. Welcome to lecture number three, Linked Data Vocabularies and Ontologies. This is a short overview about the subjects of the lecture. Okay, what are we going to talk about? We are talking about linked data vocabularies and ontologies, and this will be also a subject of the very first section of the lecture. We will talk about what is a vocabulary, and of course, what is an ontology, and how are ontologies used in that setting for knowledge representation, because they are the essential building block for knowledge representation in the semantic web as well here in the linked data environment. But you should not be afraid, we will not go deep into philosophical questions or also we will not go deep into logics. I will give you only a brief overview of things which are necessary to use ontologies and to understand the OWL web ontology language. Because we look at some examples first of linked data vocabularies and then we will see the language with which these vocabularies are defined and the language is as I told you, OWL. OWL is interesting for creating classes which comprise much more semantic expressivity than the classes that you can define with RDF and RDFS. And we will see also that we can define properties, restrictions on properties, restrictions on classes, complex properties, and so on and so on. And then we will see, okay, there are certain limits, therefore OWL and beyond. We will see where are the limits of OWL and there are certain things which can't be represented with the help of OWL, but these things not necessarily are of major importance to us. We will see at least not for the subject of that course. So there are things which are more expressive, more powerful, but on the other hand, Algorithms that are dealing with these more powerful expressions then usually are much more complex. And this often leads to something which is called undecidability, which means the algorithms that, for example, try to prove the correctness of an expression or the validity of an expression, the satisfiability of an expression, these algorithms might never stop. This means then undecidability. And this might happen, for example, for first order logic. But you should not be afraid of that. We will only touch this on the side and I will give you all the necessary explanations. Then we will look at some examples of RDFS and our knowledge bases and in the end I will also give you some hints, some methodological way how you go and design your own ontology. Okay, so relax and enjoy the lecture.